all right so um let's go through the code um step by step so that you can now do it by yourself so now you have your own um, app.py ready you have your own courses ready so whatever i'm going to show you you can be i mean typing it alongside okay that is if you want to um start from scratch but first get understanding of what is going on before you start doing anything okay so what we're going to do is, is i mean import the various libraries that we're going to use okay so these are most of them are familiar uh, i mean you're familiar with them okay um the likes of streamlate pandas base for base 64 we're going to use that one right so if you see the um the resume that we uploaded okay in order for you to embed the resume like this you need what is called base 64. if you don't know what it is you can just simply search um base 64 right base 64 if you simply search a base 64 you're going to have some information about that one right so um so you can see over here right in computer programming base 64 is a group of binary to test encoding right so in order to read the i mean the pdf file okay you first need to convert it to binary you need to read it as binary okay if you come down here um let me show you something down here um let's let's go all the way here and let me show you i want to show you something no, let me go let me go let me go let me go all the way down here over here you can see that i have rb which is read binary which is helping me to read the pdf file okay it's going to help me read the pdf file but after i have read i mean i've, I've read the pdf file i need to be able to um i mean convert it okay from that read binary into a test format and that's when you're going to need um, base 64 so you can see over here right once we read it we use base 64 to convert it okay so that's that's why you need to import that particular um library and then we're going to also use time and date over there and we have some libraries that we're going to use to pass the resume pdf okay because if it is pdf you need to um, be able to read the PDF right in the form of a read binary and then later I convert it to base 64 but you need um, this, this kind of um, libraries in order to read the PDF right and be able to display it like you are seeing it over here okay be able to display it like that so that's basically what um, we're going to use over here so we have what is called pi res parser okay pi, pi res parser and this one in, inside that we have resume parser there okay you can see it over here right i've given you a link to that library if you want to see more of that okay it's, it's actually created by um that okay so you can actually um come here and then i mean read more about that one okay okay so this one is going to help you extract the name the email the mobile numbers the skills the total experience the college name degree designation company right this is going to help you extract all that from the resume okay so that's it's, it's very simple for you to use that that one right otherwise you need to write a long um i mean function to do it okay so you can easily import that one and then here i'm using um this pdf um minor over here right which we will see later on okay and then pdf page right i'm import important pdf page and then i'm going to also use resource manager pdf resource manager and then pdf um, page interpreter right and then test converter right so all these are i mean for working on the pdf to help us be able to um read the pdf and extract the information from it okay and then i'm going to also um if you see these videos that i'm showing you right these videos that you see down there that I'm, I'm suggesting to you right i'm selecting them randomly okay i'm selecting them randomly right and even the courses that i'm giving here okay so those are i mean things that i'm using to do okay and then streamlit tags okay those are the tags that you see over here right that's what it's going to help us to um be able to show those kind of tags okay and then we have um this image over here which is helping us read any image over here for instance this one that you are seeing here this is an image okay this one i downloaded from google um if i show you over here so you can see that is there i just downloaded it okay i just downloaded that image okay and if you even if you go inside the folder that i shared with you right if we go into logos 
right? If you go into logos, you're going to see um, this. I mean, you're going to see over. You're going to see them over here, right? So I downloaded different different logos over here, which I tried all of them, and I found this one to be very nice. Okay, so you can also download any one that you want. I'm going to show you why you're going to use it. Okay, so let's let's go down, right? So, and then um, we have the Pi My SQL. This is what is going to help us connect to the SQL database. Okay, and then I have this um, from courses import these um, DS calls, web calls, Android calls, so on. I'll show you that one later on, uh, what that means and what we are using it for. Okay. And then we have this um, PyFi, which we use to upload YouTube videos. So these um, videos that you are seeing down here, right? These YouTube videos, right? I'm using PyFi to upload them. Okay, I just supplied the link and it's going to upload them. And then Plotly over here, I'm using it to generate those graphs that you're seeing at the admin, okay? At the admin part. Right, if we go to the admin part, I'm using um, Plotly to generate the report. Okay, let me sh um, log in and I'll show you um, that one as well. Okay, so you, over here you can see that we have, um, you can see that we have these plots. Okay, this ones I'm using, um, I'm using Plotly to do that. Okay, I'm using Plotly to do that. So that's why over here, I'm importing Plotly and then NLTK and then stop OS, right? We're gonna use it later on as well. Okay, because we are using this pre-built, um, I mean, we're going to use this pre-built model, which I, I told you to upload, I mean, install, okay? So we're going to need this stop OS as well. All right, so that's, that's basically all the libraries that you need. Then here, I'm creating several functions here, right? I'm creating one function uh, one here, I'm creating two, I'm creating three, and then um, we have four, right? And then five, okay, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's the functions that I'm creating so far. There are some over here, which I'll show you. So these functions, I'll come back to them and explain them to you, what we are going to use these functions for, okay? But first, let's go here. Let's um, go all the way to, let me see, let's come here. Right, let's come here and then let me explain it from here. Then I'll show you each of these functions as well, right, as we move on. All right, so first we need to connect to the SQL database, okay? So here I'm connecting to the, um, the SQL database, okay? So I'm using pi my SQL to do that. So pi my SQL dot connect, okay? And I'm connecting to localhost, um, root, and then the password, okay? So here, your password that you used when you're creating your um, my SQL database, okay? When you're creating the my SQL database, when you're setting the setting up the workbench, okay, the password that you use is the same password that you need to put over here because it's going to connect it automatically, right? And then we need a database over here, okay? We need it. We need the database over here. Um, the database, I mean, name is going to be CV. I just name it as that, okay? You can just name it anything that you want because we're creating a resume. So I just name it as CV, but you can give it any name that you want, okay? And once you do that, now we need to create, um, I mean, table, okay? So I'm creating a function here, which I will use later on to insert the data into the table, okay? And the table is gonna have a column, which is having name, email, right? Um, resume score, timestamp, number of pages, um, recommendation field, candidate field skills, recommendation skills, and then courses. Okay, so if you see what we have at the admin part, okay, you see that here we have the ID, we have the name, email, uh, resume score, we have the timestamp, um, we have, I mean, all of them over here, right? Total pages, we have the predicted uh, actual skills, recommended skills, recommended courses, and so on and so forth, okay? We have all of them over here. So that's that's basically the, the table titles that you have, okay? And then the database, um, the table name is gonna be user underscore table, all right? And then um, insert underscore SQL. And then here we're going to insert the data into that, okay? So we insert into the database, right? And um, the values are going to be, this one, they are just placeholders, right? They are holding places for what we are going to insert over there. So the respective table names are going to be replaced over here, okay? And then here I'm making sure that I have the um, the recommended 
values okay the required values over there so the name email right we're going to see, see use this once later on when we call this function okay it's going to run automatically and then insert all these data into the database for us okay okay so when we call it right as soon as we call this function then it's going to execute the insert sql and then the the respective values in, over there for us right and then the commit is just going to um make sure that we our data is actually in there uh, is committed into the table all right so once uh, we do that now here what we are doing here is that we are setting the page config that is the page configuration so if you come over here right you see that here we have ai resume analyzer over there and then we have some logo over there so that's basically what i'm doing here so you can set it to any title that you want okay that's the page title right over here right ai resume analyzer and then the image over there right Okay, so if you come to the next, right, you see that we have um, the page icon. So this is where I actually added the image. Okay, that image, I make sure that um, I downloaded it from Google. I mean, you can just get it from anywhere, but I just downloaded it from Google. So as I showed you earlier on, right, um, where did I show here? I just downloaded it. So it's just the same image that I'm using. Okay, I just uploaded it over there okay so you can just give your image a link over here right if i show you um inside there you see that i have logo 2 logo 2.png so that's what i'm using over here logo 2.png so your respective image name should be there and then here um here this this image right this logo 2.png this second one is what i'm i'm showing here right this is the second one so this image is what i'm showing so if i change this one to maybe um let me see any other image i have okay so let's see i have this other one just logo.jpg if i change this one to logo.jpg right and then i change this one to jpeg okay and then i run it i mean i save it Control s to save it okay now here, if I rerun this thing, right, it's, it's actually running. So let's see. Um, let's see, access deny for local host, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I need to, I, I changed the password, so I need to go and fix that, right? Because I changed the password, you see that I deleted the password, okay? So I'm just gonna put my password over here, my right password over there, right? okay and then it's going to run so if if you don't put the right password it's not able to connect with your um i mean your database okay so in that case if it's not able to connect with your database you're gonna have that kind of an error over there all right so you see that the new image that i use is there okay so you can use your own image right i think the one that i was using is quite good so i'm just gonna maintain it that way right i'm just gonna maintain it. i've already set it to automatic rerun so as soon as i make any changes it's going to rerun if you've not done that initially when you do it it's just it's png not jpeg i should also change this one right png right you can see it over here right it's logo2.png so make sure that you put the right one over there right you can click over here and then you see the run button over there you can also run it over there okay so we see that now it's, it's cool right it's going to show me the image now you see that it's reading the image right so that that that's works very fine you can resize it if it's too big or too small you can resize it using this one okay you can uncomment and then resize it if you want so here i do st dot image which is um streamlit right remember i imported streamlit as st right over here so that's what i'm using st dot image that's what is actually reading the image for us all right so, um, let's go over here okay so once i do that i'm also putting a title over there so you can see st dot title ai resume analyzer so that's the title ai resume analyzer so you can change it if you want and then st dot sidebar dot markdown right and then i have choose user so here you can see that um i have choose user over there right and then I, I've written here, choose among the given options. So that's, that's this one, choose among the given option. So st.sidebar.markdown, okay, that's what you use to create this sidebar, 
Okay, that's what you use to create the sidebar. And then um, inside the sidebar, I have two things over there, user and then admin. Okay, so if you want to, I mean, add anything else, you can add, okay, user and admin. Or if you want to rename it, you can also do that. All right, and then um, I have uh, st.sidebar.select box, right? Choose among the given options, okay? So the select box is going to give you the box, and then the title of that one is what is there. Choose among the given options. And then you, you can see that I have this um, this one, this link here, right? If you click on that, it's going to take you to, um, let me just click on that. It's going to take you to I mean, my LinkedIn, right? So if you go there, okay, so you see that it's now loading my LinkedIn account. So that's the link that I've provided. I've provided my LinkedIn account. So it's just going to display that. All right, so it's going to um, show you my LinkedIn page, all right? So, this um this is my linkedin page over here right um quite a lot of posts in here okay quite a lot of posting so you can even comment and you can connect with me you see that i have uh we are reaching around um nine thousand almost i think by the time that you open this one it will be more than that so uh, make sure you, you also connect with me on linkedin okay if you search for that you will see you will see um that okay or if you click on whatever i've given you you'll be able to also come there and you connect with me okay in case of anything you can also give um i mean you can you can just reach out to me you can inbox me or whatever okay you can easily connect right you can easily you can easily come and then you you connect with me okay so um that's 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 the part that's that part over there right that's this part okay that's what i'm doing so um this, this is how you do it and then so here, I mean, the link is here, okay? I put my LinkedIn link over there. So you can also come and you put your own LinkedIn uh, or whatever, whatever you want to link to your GitHub or whatever you want to link to. Okay, so it's there, right? And then I'm putting at the sides, I mean, the sidebar. Okay, so that's why you see this one over there. You see that I save everything into link and I'm passing in the link over here, okay? And I'm putting it at the sidebar. Okay, so that's why it's there. You can also put it at the bottom if you want, right? You can also put it at the bottom there, but I think at the sidebar works fine, all right? So um, that's that's um, the part, that's the first session.